Okay, so we have here now analyzing transactions into debit and credit parts. First, we have to uh, know the account balance or what is an account balance. The difference between totals of the amounts recorded on the sides of an account. So there are two sides, the left and the right side. And we'll be explaining more on that as we go on. So let us first take a look at the accounting equation. So the accounting equation is asset is equal to liabilities plus equity. So as we can see that on the left side of the equation is the asset. And usually the left side is what we call the debit side. So the debit is an entry made on the left side of an account. So while on the right side, we have the liabilities and equity or capital. And the right side, so an entry made on the right side of an account is called a credit. So this is significant because this will more or less be our hint on what will be the balances of these types of accounts. So to explain that further, so if we have the balance sheet, on the left side of the balance sheet is actually the asset, and on the right side of the balance sheet will be the liabilities and capital. Again, on the left side is debit. That's why for a balance or for an asset, the balance is actually a debit. And for liability and capital, the balance is actually a credit for both of the accounts. So to, to summarize that, for assets, again, the debit, so on the left side, that's on the left side, the debit, uh, the balance is debit. And that means that if we debit an amount to an asset, that will increase the value of the asset. So while if we credit an amount to an asset, then that will decrease the value of the asset. So while for liability, again, they are on the right side, so the balance is actually credit. And that means if we debit an amount to a liability, that will decrease the liability. And if we credit an amount to the liability, that will increase the liability. So almost the same with capital. So since it's on the right side, the balance is actually a credit. So if we debit an amount to a capital, that will decrease the capital. And if we credit an amount to the capital, this will increase the value of the capital. Now, what is a T account? A T account is an skeleton form of account showing the account title and the debit and credit side. So again, the left side is a debit side and the right side is the credit side. So on top of this, we place here the name of the account or the account title. Now, how do we analyze transactions? So transactions, again, uh, take note that transactions changes or transactions change at least two account balances. So it's impossible for a transaction wherein there will be only one account affected. So it should be at least two. So there can also be three, four, it depends on the transaction. But the minimum, of course, is actually two. And how do we analyze transactions? So the, ste uh, the steps to analyze a transaction are the following. First, we have to know what are the names of the accounts affected. And then next is to determine the classification of each of these accounts, whether they are assets, liabilities, or capital, or maybe even revenue or expenses. And then how is the balance of each account affected? Will it increase or decrease the balance? So if, it's, if the amount is increased, will it be on the debit side or will it be on the credit side? Again, it depends on the type of or the classification of the account. So let's have an example. So in this uh, example, we have here the chart of accounts. We're in, we have the assets. So we have here three account titles. We have cash, supplies, and equipments. So for cash, let's say we have the initial balance of 300,000. For supplies, we have 20,000. And for equipments, we have 60,000. Then for liabilities, we have Gate Supply Company, 
So let's say we have a balance of 10,000. For capital, we have Cardona Capital, that is 370,000. Then Cardona Drawing, zero. Sales services, zero. Or for revenue, rather, services, zero. Expenses, rentals, let's say zero. So we just uh, use a minimum number of account titles for simplicity purposes. So the first thing we're going to do is to create our initial T accounts. So we have to reflect the balances in our T accounts. So again, for the assets, so for this drawing, uh, those with blue background are actually the assets. And for assets, again, their balances are on the debit side, left side. That's why I have here 300,000 on the left side, on the debit side. And I place here B, that means that's our beginning balance. 20,000, that's also our beginning balance for supplies. And 60,000, that's our beginning balance for equipment. And then for gate supply company, so it is a liability. The balance is actually uh, on the credit side. That's why I place here 10,000 on the credit side. Again, I have placed here B. That means that's our beginning balance. And for Cardona Capital, also on the credit side, so capital, balance of capital is on the credit side. That's why 370,000 here was placed on the right side or on the credit side. So I place here B. So we don't have any values yet for the other accounts. So let's proceed now with the example. So let's say we have here transaction one, wherein two assets are affected. So let's say the transaction is we paid cash for supplies amounting to 5,000. So the analysis, so I have shown you the three questions we have to answer to analyze the transaction. First is what are the accounts affected? So we have here cash and supplies. So we paid cash for supplies. So these are the two accounts that are affected by uh, this transaction. Then what are the account classifications of those that are affected? So cash is actually an asset and supplies is also an asset. So both are assets. So how are they affected? When we pay cash, of course, cash will decrease. That's why cash will decrease. And for an asset to decrease, we have to place that on the credit side. And supplies, so we bought supplies, so we will receive the supplies, so the supplies will increase. So therefore, we place supplies on the debit side. So that means we have to credit 5,000 for cash and debit 5,000 for supplies. So how do we reflect that in our T account? So here, 5,000, so that's transaction number one. I place here number one. So transaction number one, 5,000 is actually credited to cash. And also transaction number one, 5,000 is debited to supplies. So we have here transaction number one. Now let's proceed to transaction number two. So in this example, one asset and one liability will be affected. So for example, our transaction is paid cash to gate supply company amounting to 3,000. So analysis, I just made it shorter. Accounts affected and their classification. So in this case, we paid cash. So cash will be affected and that's an asset. To gate supply company, gate supply company is actually a liability. So again, that's liabilities. How are they affected? So when we pay cash to our liability, our cash will decrease, of course. So that means it is an asset. So to, to, to decrease an asset, we credit the value. And then for gate supply company, also our liability will also decrease because we have paid uh, an amount for, our, for the amount owed. So that will decrease the liability. So to decrease 
decrease a liability, we have to debit the liability. So that means we have to credit 3,000 to cash and debit 3,000 to gate supply company. So how was that reflected in our P account? There. So we credited 3,000. That's transaction number two for cash. And we debited 3,000 transaction number two to gate supply company. Again, so the red background here stands for liability. The green, capital, services, and rentals for color coding purposes and clarity purposes. So let's proceed now to transaction number three. Transaction number three, one asset and the capital affected. So let's say the transaction is we receive cash from the owner, Cardona, as an additional investment in the business. So amounting to 50000 So analysis, the accounts affected and their classification. So cash, we receive cash, so cash will be affected. That's an asset. So an investment in the business, so that's a capital. So Cardona capital is a capital. So one asset and one capital. How are they affected? We receive cash, so cash will increase. So therefore, we have to debit 50000 to cash. And the capital will also increase. So we credit 50000 to capital. So how is this reflected in our P account? So we receive 50000 So 50000 is debited to cash. That's transaction number three. As you can see, it's number three. And 50,000 is now credited to Cardona Capital. So that's also transaction number three. Proceed now to transaction number four. So one asset and revenue affected. So we received cash from services rendered, 10,000. So the analysis, what are the accounts affected and classification? So, we receive cash, so that will affect our cash, which is actually an asset, and the cash is coming from the services rendered. So, the services is actually the revenue. So, how are they affected? Cash will increase, so therefore, we have to place that on the debit side. Because again, for asset to increase, we have to place them on the debit side. The services, the it is actually increased because revenue increases capital. So that will be placed on the credit side. So how will this be reflected in our, in our T accounts? There's something wrong with that. So it should be placed here. We receive cash, amounted to 10,000 and services 10,000 on the credit side. But let's see, maybe that will be reflected on the next transaction. So transaction number five, one asset and expense affected. So we paid gas for the month's rent amounting to 8,000. So analysis, account affected and classification, so we paid cash, so cash is affected, that's an asset. And rent, that's expenses, so asset and expenses. How are they affected? We paid cash, so cash will decrease, so you have to place that on the credit side. Rentals, rentals will decrease capital, so or expenses will decrease capital, so we have to place that on the debit side. So here we have now transaction number five. So Let's go back to transaction number four. So this was transaction number four, cash 10,000 and services 10,000. That's transaction number four. But for this one, that's, uh, this is transaction number five. We paid cash, so 8,000 is credited and 8,000 is debited under rentals. So that's transaction number five. Let's proceed to transaction number six. One asset and capital affected. Let's say we paid cash to the owner, Cardona, for personal use, amounting to 5000 Analysis. 
to the accounts affected and classification. So we paid cash, so cash will be affected. That's an asset. And then for personal use, that's Cardona drawing. So that's also a capital. So how are the accounts affected? Cash will decrease because we paid cash will decrease. So we have to credit 5,000 to cash. And then Cardona drawing, this will decrease the capital. So you have to place that on the debit side. So how will this, how is this reflected in our T account? So we paid cash. So 5,000 is credited to cash. And 5,000 is now debited to Cardona drawing. So we have here transaction number six. Transaction number seven. So let's go back. We have two, again, two assets affected. So receive cash from sales of an old equipment amounting to 6,500. Analysis. So the accounts affected and classification. So cash is actually an asset. Equipments are also assets. So equipments, asset. How are they affected? So we receive cash. So cash will increase. So therefore we create debit cash. Equipments, we sold an equipment, so that means our equipments will decrease. So you have to credit 6,500 to equipments. So we receive cash, transaction number seven, we receive cash. So you have to debit 6,500 to cash. And we sold an equipment, so you have to credit 6,500 to equipments. So the, this will be the appearance of our T accounts after seven transactions. Now, how? Let's try to look at the balances now. So this will be the account balances. So what we're going to do is to get the total for debit, get a total for credit, and then subtract. Then you have the balances. So that means that the new balance for cash is now three hundred forty-five thousand. 500, while for supplies, it is now 25,000, and for equipment, it is now 53,500. For our liability, gate supply company, so since we paid initially it's 10,000, we paid 3,000, the new balance now is 7,000 per capital. So Cardona added a, an investment, so it becomes 420,000, but we have 5,000 for the drawing and 10,000 for the services and 8,000 for the rentals. Again, at the end of the cycle, what we're going to do is, let's say uh, for the accounting side, what we're going to do is uh, later on, the drawing will be subtracted to the capital. Services will be added to the capital because it's on the credit side and rentals will be subtracted to the capital. And that will be the uh, new value for capital, while the, this three might be reset to zero. Okay, so that's all for analyzing transactions into debit and credit parts, and at the same time showing you how we reflect the transactions in T-accounts. Thank you.